this, this organization, Breath of Life, it's a really great example of how people can organize these trips well. Uh, the gather, train, and the go. This is the go part. This is where you leave your the four walls of your DC or of your church and the comfort of your neighborhood, the comfort of your own bed even. Um, and you go and you get to make disciples. When you go on a mission trip, expect to be pushed out of your comfort zone and to grow and to see God work. I think that people can also expect to be embraced by community, both with the people that they are traveling with and with the people that they meet. It's not just going to be a time where you go up and you're doing one uh, one construction project for an entire week. You're going to go around to different towns and villages and you're going to really get a sense of how life is for a lot of different people down in the Vatican. With the specific culture that we're going to, um, you're going to have a lot of fun. We actually did a worship service in the middle of the street. We blocked off a street with a van. And it's just, it's so awesome to be able to see the Spirit of God moving. If you feel that God has called you to do this, that He will give you what you need during the trip to do what He has for you. It doesn't matter what degree you have or what your knowledge is in, God's going to use you however He wants to use you and how He made you to be used. If your fear is that you're going to go there and you're not going to know what to do, God's going to use you through that. God is going to um, God is going to give you exactly what you need. I think by going and seeing other cultures and how they are reaching others for Christ in their culture, it helps you come back and do the same here. It helps you see the body of Christ as this big, diverse, moving body. And it makes me want to live everyday life here um, and spend my days making disciples everywhere that I can.